best. Two-time world champions Berejnaya and Sikorid Lidza shocked the skating world when they were forced to withdraw prior to the competition after Yelena failed a drug test at Europeans. But their absence has opened the door for a new set of contenders from the deepest pairs field in recent history. Shen and Zhao, the powerful Chinese pair, lead after the short program. They lost last year's title by just one judge's vote. This year, they could claim the first gold medal in pairs ever for China. Russians, Petrov and Tikhanov trail close behind in second. This season, they've beaten every top pair except their missing teammates. It falls on their shoulders to continue the tradition of Russian dominance. And Canadian newcomers, Saleh and Peltier, currently in third, are already being called the next legendary pair. Will they find a happy ending to their memorable love story program? In ice dance, the French team, Anasina and Pezera, bring an unmatched dramatic flair to their performances. They go for their first world title before a partisan home crowd. Plus, two American dance teams look to break through in Nice, national champs Lang and Chernyshev, along with emerging young stars Silverstein and Pekarik. The pairs and ice dancers go for world gold next. I'm Leslie Visser, I'm Terry Gannon. Today, the pairs and ice dancers skate for the year's ultimate gold medals, and the pairs take the ice first. The standings right now for the pairs after the short program. Xu Ei Shen, Hungbo Zhao of China, last year's silver medalist in the lead over the Russian team, Maria Petrova and Alexei Tikhanov. Then the Canadian sensation, Saleh and Peltier in third over the French team. The Americans right now, Ina and Zimmerman in sixth, hoping for a top five finish. Tiffany Scott, Philip Dulaban in ninth. Now, moments ago here in the free skate, a frightening incident. Yulia Obertas and Dmitry Palomarchik of Ukraine, the two-time junior world champions with that horrible crash. Watch her fall on this lift and land right on his head as it slams to the ice. And he would lay on the ice for quite some time before workers came out to help him. Obviously dazed, and she stood there and watched in tears. They finally made their way out, helped him out, not on a stretcher or a board, did not apply a neck brace, helped him walk off the ice, and he couldn't go any further. At one point, he fainted after coming off the ice, and they finally brought a stretcher to take him away. He has been taken to a local hospital, and we will update you on his condition throughout the show. Tense moments here, and it did take some time for the crowd and the other skaters to recover from that. But the Paris Championship does continue. A chance for a top 10 finish, maybe a whole lot better in their first trip to the Senior World Championships. The U.S. silver medalists Tiffany Scott and Philip Dulaban. Well, they had an excellent start here at the World Championships, skating a clean, short program. extremely consistent skater. Let's hope that holds true in this performance. First move, side by side, triple toe loops. Good unison right there. Here they come. Very Be nice. Beautifully done, weren't they? pointed it out before, but once again, note that he is right-handed, but turning clockwise. Most skaters turn counterclockwise. Now this throw, double axle. Very smooth, real 
real strong landing position. Cannot be easy to take the ice just minutes after that fall by Dmitry Palomarchik. Most skating fans know. But Scott and Dulabon took the place of Binabos in handy after Paul was seriously injured in practice. Much of the major competitions this season. Very close friends. Triple Salkow. Watch the lift from the back inside edge. Very nice turning power. They have good flow. And they look very calm out here. There's a side star to a back press lift. Side by side, double axles. Oh, she swung out so much on that takeoff, she couldn't be very tight in the air and couldn't get that lift. That leg didn't follow through to get her up in the air. A young pair, they are really doing extremely well. And you start to realize this is their first world championships. And now their final move is back outside death spiral. They certainly have good speed, good unison, power and tricks. And I think that with a little more maturity, they are going to be a very uh, important pair in the, pair the world of pair skating. In the Bin dangerous world of pair skating. Right. Increasingly dangerous, it seems. Been on a roll lately, Tiffany Scott and Philip Dulabon. The silver medal at the U.S. Nationals and then their first medal at a major international competition. That was in Japan at the Four Continents. And this was a side-by-side -side double axles. Watch how she swings around. She did not have that free leg swing through and get a sharp edge on that forward takeoff. And she's leaning in the air. And that is not an efficient way to turn in the air. There's a look at the people who will make the most important decisions here this afternoon. Dick, what are the judges looking for? Well, the most important thing is unison. Two skaters skating as one. Now, the lifts must have variety and creativity, good position in the air, and steady footwork. The spins, they've got to be in unison. The pair spins have got to be controlled and centered. And, of course, the height and distance of throw jumps is what excites everybody. There'll be two sets of marks, of course. And... The free skate worth two-thirds of the overall score. The technical merit marks here, Dan. And they're very good marks. They're solid. My gosh, look at the consistency of those marks. Every judge feels that they are substantially in a, the right position. That is a nice set of marks. And they have to be pleased with those, too. The presentation marks 5.3 up to 5.5 for the U.S. silver medalist, Tiffany Scott Philip Dulabon. 
Their American teammates take the ice next. Kyoko Ina and John Zimmerman. She is the fourth U.S. skater to win Paris titles with two different partners, and they both started skating very early. The American champions skate when we come back to Nice. Of skating describes how pair skaters must perform lifts. And one of the most important is this split, twist, lift. It can be either two or three revolutions, but the skaters must exit on a clean, sure edge. What the skaters need is tight revolution and not this kind of problem. This is a very difficult lift. Note this couple, the speed that they have going into this lift. First, the split, then the twist, which is almost horizontal in the air, and then a controlled landing. On the ice, representing the United States of America, Kyoko Ina John Zimmerman. The Paris Free Skate continues with the U.S. champions, Kyoko Ina and John Zimmerman. They may have been inconsistent throughout the season, but they were terrific at the Nationals, and they were great with their short program here in Nice. They are in sixth place after the short. Their second trip to the World Championships together last year, they placed ninth. Skating to Phantom of the Opera. Not only do they have to complete every move in this program, they also must create a mood to match this music. Over the past, they've been plagued with their triple side-by-side -side jumps. And it wasn't perfect here. They did them so well at the national championships. They must forget that first mistake and make the rest of the program very clean. Now these side-by-side -side double axles. Oh, they both had trouble on that. Watch this overhead, a one hand overhead. Now a twist and flip over. Throw triple sock out. Ooh. My, my heart in my mouth on that one. <laughs> it was just fine though. much better positions than we've seen on many of the pair skaters in the sit spin. throw lifts. I like this position, this combination spread eagle and low down spiral.
inside death spiral. Well, that was an interesting comparison to their performance at the national championship, which was done with energy and excitement. This one seemed to be much slower and, of course, suffered a few major errors in the earlier part of the program. When they took the ice, a chance to place in the top five, who knows, maybe even medal, but a golden opportunity that Ina and Zimmerman did not fully embrace. Now, one of the unfortunate moments was at the early part of the program, this side-by-side -side triple toe loops. They entered them very cautiously, but watch here what happens. He just cannot hold his edge very strongly, and she turns out on it. And this was the throw triple Salkow. Good height, good revolution. She got out in plenty of time and on a clean and perfect edge. Five, three, five, three, five, six, five, three, and now the marks. The four, first set for five, technical two, merit. Five, Pretty four, wide range. 5.2 five, five, up to 5.6. Five, they were so good in their short program and very high hopes for the free skate. Now the marks for presentation, 5.3 up to 5.7. So Ina and Zimmerman currently in third place overall. And a reminder, overall leaders and the top challengers for the gold medal take the ice. The final group here at the World Figure Skating Championships is next. In the 2000 World Figure Skating Championships, the final group of pairs taking the ice, about to settle the gold medal. Terry Gannon back with you. Unfortunately, two of the major developments concerning pairs this weekend, these took place away from the ice, and they were not at all positive. First, the two-time and reigning world champions from Russia, Yelena Beriznaya and Anton Sikorodliza, were informed here in Nice that they would not be able to compete and try to three-peat when their third straight world championship because Yelena had failed a drug test in early February at the European Championships. And earlier this week, Stefan Bernadis, part of the pairs team from France, Abby Bowl and Bernadis, well, he answered a knock on his door in the hotel room in the early afternoon, and a man attacked him, an unidentified man who slashed his arm now, Bernadise was able to close the door and get away, but the injury did result in three stitches, and we're very happy to say that he's able to compete, and he is on the ice right now warming up with Sarah trying to win a medal here in his home country. In terms of the incident that took place earlier on the ice, right now, Leslie Visser has more information. Leslie? Terry, in the increasingly dangerous world of pair skating, the two-time junior world champions of Yulia Obertas and Dmitry Palomarchuk suffered a terrible fall during their program during an overhead lift when he caught a heel, fell back, and slammed his head into the ice while trying to hold her up. He was helped off the ice, then he lost consciousness for five minutes. When he regained consciousness, he was placed on a stretcher, then taken to a local hospital for observation. Terry. All right, Leslie, thank you. Joined now by Peggy Fleming and Dick Button. And Dick, I want to get your take on the situations, all these events that we've seen this week. Well, you've heard me steaming for the last yeah. five minutes. I've been involved with this sport for over half a century, and something bizarre or tragic or quirky always seems to happen. And this event, it seems, is no different. But let me tell you something. When o Obertas and Palomarchuk fell, there was no backboard there to place him on when he was should have been carried off the ice. And I did not see that it was the best of, of trends for one of his handlers to decide to slap him in the face to try to uh, straighten him out or get him out of what appeared to be a dizzy spell. I don't think that was handled very well. Almost any sports event in America could do better than that at this point. Now, on a nicer trend, there are some new elements in skating, and one of them is the emergence of China as a major player. It's only been 20 years since I organized the first group of Western skaters, including Peggy Fleming, to exhibit in China, and that was for ABC. And now the Chinese pair of Shen and Zhao are leading. They're powerful and fast and technically superior. They still have to relax and let the music flow through their veins, but they're hungry and it shows. Well, Shen and Zhao trying to win the first gold medal in pairs for China, but Peggy, 29 of the past 35 gold medals in pairs have been run by Russian skaters or Soviet skaters, and Maria Petrova and Alexei Tikhonov, they have a great chance here in Nice. They certainly do, Terry. Petrova and Tikhonov come to this world championship with the most successful season of any team here. 
even though they've only skated together for two years, they have the sureness and the speed that marks every Russian pair. But the couple that has captured the hearts of the French audiences are the Canadians, Jamie Salé and David Peltier. They're in third place after the short, and this is their very first world championship as a team. And watch for the way they capture the emotion of their music. It's the theme from Love Story, and their choreography and connection with each other is absolutely magical. And if Jamie can just get by the side-by-side -side double axles that have plagued her all season, they could take home a gold medal for Canada. Well, here's the order in which they will skate. Abby Boll and Vernon Dees, the French team on the ice first. He is not 100%. We'll watch him closely. Petrova and Tikhanov with the Russian hopes. They're second. And Shannon Zhao, the current leaders. And Salé and Peltier, the surprise team of the season from Canada, skate last. They're trying to become the first French team to win a pairs medal at the World Championship since 1932, and they've got the home cooking on their side. Sarah Abbey-Bowl and Stefan Bernadis. What do you think the crowd's for here, huh? <laughs> they are going wild. <laughs> In fourth place after this short program. They train and live right outside of Paris, but he has family here in the French Riviera. How effective will he be with the injury? They're skating to a number called the Angel and the Devil. They always seem to have a theme to their programs and it's never just music to them. This in their skating is tension. There's always something to watch here. Look at these side-by-side -side triple toes. Very smooth, very strong and confident. Side-by-side, -side, double axle combination, double toe loops. A split, triple twist, beautifully done. That was excellent. You know, I really think it helps them. Uh, it's hard to say, but I think it helps them with all, A, both the support in the audience and the slashing of his wrist. It takes their mind off the skating and gives them a confidence. I see a real crispness to all of their moves. <laughs> They've never been known as being graceful skaters, but there is a strong, tension that runs through all of their moves. Look at this lift and the way he sets her up into the air without an edge. That swing entrance makes it so much more difficult. And her up there with his right arm. It's the left arm that is injured. Fifth at the World Championships last season. They have beaten every one of the top competitors here at the World Championships at one point or another this season. Takeoff. And that, that fall, she just simply did not check the landing, holding the skating shoulder edge back. The shoulder back would have stopped the rotation. Of course, it's easy for us to say that sitting here.
line step sequence very inventive moves as that tension and that interpretation of this theme of the angel and the devil focused <laughs> and the audience just loves them what they're doing had to be an extremely uneasy week here in nice for abby bowl and bernadise the attack on stefan earlier in the week the extra security added by the french federation for all of the french skaters but every time they left their hotel to come to the arena you knew it was in their minds but here with the home crowd the seven-time french national champions Trying the medal. I'd sort of hate to be a judge here. Now, look at this star lip and watch the way he enters it. Sweeps her off the ice without an edge and up into the air. Turning star lip position right there. Now, watch the dismount. This is a very nice combination. A double swing up over the shoulder and out. But on this, there was a greater problem. Watch her right shoulder. It should be back right here to stop the rotation. But she doesn't stop it, and it folds out, and she falls. And Dick, I mentioned how uneasy they must be this week. Someone threw something on the ice before the end of the program. You could kind of see Stefan react to that, always thinking about that, obviously, here. First set now. Five sixes and five sevens. And they're very fine marks, very good, but there is room above them for the remaining skaters to come. Presentation marks, good enough to put Abby Bowl in the Bernadies into the lead for the moment. Up next, the Russian team in second place after the short program. Maria Petrova and Alexei Tikhonov, the European silver medalist. They've only been together since July of 98. Maria used to skate with Anton Sikwed Liza. She and Alexei will try to win gold right after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Championships, Russian Alexei Yagudin survived to win his third straight world championship, the first three-peat since 91. And Michelle Kwan captured her third world gold. After increasing the technical difficulty of her program, she came through with perhaps the best performance of her career. The nervous moments waiting to take the ice. Shui Shen, Hong Bo Zhao, the leaders after this short program, they are still to skate here in the pairs free skate. But up next, Maria Petrova and Alexei Tikhonov of Russia. Maria won a junior world title with her former partner, Anton Sikorodlidze, who, of course, is here watching with Yelena Berezhnaya not competing. With more on that story, here's Leslie Visser. Terry, Yelena Berezhnaya took cough medicine given to her by a doctor back home in Hackensack, New Jersey. Her coach, Tamara Moskvina, said what she learned from this incident was to be ever more vigilant with her skaters, not allow them to take anything. In the meantime, she said her skaters will not hide. Well, they are here in Nice. They are not criminals. They didn't do anything wrong. And we don't need to hide from the people. Uh, they enjoy uh, Nice, 
they enjoy uh, skating community and we are not uh, accepting condolences. We feel that what they did, this was uh, normal and uh, life goes on and we don't feel guilty at all. Regardless of the suspension, coach Tamara Moskvina says the only pills her skaters need to take are artistry and preparation. Terry. All right, Leslie, thank you. And there's a look at Yelena Berezhnaya. She and Anton Sikoridlitsa here in Nice, and they are watching the action this afternoon, obviously wishing they could be out there to try to three-peat, but here and not staying away from anyone here in the crowd. Maria Petrova, so with their countrymen watching, the team that they finished second to at the Russian Nationals and the European Championships, it is now Maria Petrova and Alexei Tikhonov's turn. In second place after this short program, they finished fourth at the World Championships last season in Helsinki, trying to win their first here in Nice. Well, this team has good speed over the ice, good body line, good energy, and technical consistency, at least this past season. The music, The Four Seasons by Balbaldi. It's a great choice. Their first move, side-by-side, -side, triple toe loops. She had, was a little shaky on that landing. This combination, side-by-side, -side, double axle, and some connecting steps into a double toe. Nice double axle. the double toes. She, she was shaking on that landing too. She double footed it, mm -hmm. it seemed. Split, triple twist. She, he is six foot two, she only five feet. Two parts to this lift. Stag position. Flip over, down, tap the ice, and back up again. together for less than two years on the ice and Maria turned down Alexei twice before finally saying yes she would skate with him She's so neat in the air, it almost looks like she turns in slow motion. The flatness of that position.
Allen. You know, that was a very, uh, you know, consistent program. It was steady. There were lots of wonderful moves to it. I kind of felt they lost energy at the end and that it drizzled off choreographically and musically, that it didn't rise to the occasion. That is such wonderful music and they are such competent skaters. I think they could have been helped a little bit more towards the end of the program in not letting down. We'll have to wait and see if the Russian dominance continues. Not Berezhnaya and Sikor and Lidza, but Petrova and Tikhonov, the Russians or Soviets, have won 29 of the past 35 Paris titles, as we have said. And last year swept all four disciplines at the World Championships. Now look what happens in this combination. First the double axle, they're okay, but then we come to the toe loops. Now watch her, watch the feet in the air as she taps. Now watch what happens right here. She double toes the landing, taps it, the wood foot swings wide and it's not as good as it could be. But here we see a throw triple salk out. Good height, stretch, straight legs, beautiful landing. Very nice edge, that's perfect. All right, so they were in second place after the short program. Now the first set, Dick. And these are very good marks. Five sevens and five eights. Clearly better marks than what Abby Fole and Bernadi got, and justifiably so. That was a strong and powerful performance. A kiss and a flower from the flower girl, and now the presentation marks. Five sevens, five sixes, and five eights. And I feel those would have been slightly better had they not sort of lost the intensity at the end of the program. They are the current leaders. And up next, the leaders after the short program, they control their own destiny here. Shuei Shen, Hongbo Zhao, the 99 world silver medalist from Helsinki, the most successful Chinese pair ever already, trying to win the first gold for China. He started as a basketball player. You know he's got some hops. He can get up in the air. They skate for gold next. The rule book of skating dictates how a pair team must execute a death spiral. The key is the edge the lady skates on, and that determines which death spiral is being executed. Here, the lady skates on a back outside edge. This is a back inside death spiral. The man must retain the pivot position for one revolution once the lady is in position. This is the forward outside death spiral. The lady is challenged here because she must skate on a clean forward outside edge, and that's difficult. Finally, the forward inside death spiral, one of the most commonly seen in pair skating. Notice the lady must not sink so low that she touches the ice. 26-year-old Hongbo Zhao and 21-year-old Shuei Shen of China. It's a difficult journey to make it to the World Championships for all the skaters, but for them, this trip wouldn't have even been possible two generations ago. In October, the People's Republic of China celebrated 50 years under communism. The revolution changed all aspects of Chinese life, and culture and sports came under especially close scrutiny. National resources were allocated to cover the basic necessities of life, not building skating rinks. But in the far northern corner of China, where the weather is icy cold in winter, a colony of skaters thrived. At the time when I started skating, the conditions were very bad, and also skills for beginners were very low. In the beginning, a pair of skates were offered to me, and they were too big. I had to put some other things in my shoes for them to fit me. This field was once the skater's training center. It was covered in water, and the frozen surface became the ice rink. The children who were chosen for the training center lived in dormitories, away from their parents. They wore ill-fitting old skates and trained at odd hours, outdoors throughout the harsh winters. The ice was occupied 24 hours a day. All the children skated four hours every day, and every group had to take its turn, skating in the night or early in the morning, according to the training schedule. In 1980, Communist China sent its first skaters to Olympic competition. Their two skaters finished last, and the Chinese closed ranks embarrassed by the immense gulf between their skaters and the rest of the world. At that time, 1980, after the Olympic Games when we returned, we spent some time trying to figure out our weak points and what our next step should be. China returned to the international stage with a more aggressive attitude, and a young girl from Cheng Chung became their secret weapon. In 1995, Chen Lu became the first Chinese woman to win a world title. Her success rocked Chinese skating. 
the Sports Federation rushed to embrace Western choreography, costumes, and music. Chen Liu made great contributions to skating here, and we want to continue what she started, to make it better for the skaters who come after us. Many young skaters in China want to be just like Chen Liu. Today, the National Skating School is based in Beijing. The conditions aren't as plush as most in the West, but China is serious about supporting its skaters, and the athletes here are respected contenders. Skating is upgrading in China, and now the dream of performing in international competitions has become a reality. We want to do well to honor the skaters who came before us and work so hard to give us the opportunities to live our dreams. China has proven what can be done when resources and energy are directed at an athletic program. Only two generations ago, Chinese skaters were neither qualified nor permitted to compete outside China. The generation of skaters here at Worlds have taken a quantum leap forward. They are skilled and polished, and hungry for a place atop the podium. On the ice, representing China, Su Chen Ong Zhao. From a system that once closed up shop and quit the sport entirely, Xu A. Shen, Hung Bo Zhao, they could become the first gold medalist at the World Championships from China. They're in the lead after the short program. Last year, they barely missed winning. Right behind Bears Nye and Secret leads it. with side-by-side, -side, double axles, triple toe combination. Double axles into triple toes. But there were steps in between, so that wouldn't be a combination, but a very difficult series of jumps for pair skating. Look at the speed that they have, the security on the ice how fast that was. And look at the power that he throws her with in this throw triple loop. Look at the speed, the height, the distance that he gets. This is a very, very energetic pair. saw them halfway through this season, you would have never known they were the reigning world silver medalists. We saw them finish fourth at a Grand Prix event in Japan, but they came on strong late on the Grand Prix final. Here they are in the lead for the World Championships. And now coming up, our side-by-side -side triple toes again. I think he doubled that. The one armed star lift. Now look at the height that he gets her to in this triple throw Salkow. She didn't quite check the landing and had to turn out of it.
inside death spiral. Now look at the outside lean. That's a very, very challenging move. Maintained good speed and good energy throughout this whole program. You know, they are marvelous technicians. They're strong, they're powerful. They, they do the most difficult moves. And they have learned, you know, and they have great choreography that has developed them tremendously. They still need grace and skating that comes from the heart. They don't quite have that yet. Carrying the banner for a nation of over a billion people, Xu Wei Shen and Hung Bo Zhao. Did they just win China's first gold medal? We'll see. And here was their opening combination jump of the double axle side by side. Very difficult. He kind of fell out of his. And they do these steps in between into a triple toe loop side by side. Very nicely done and very difficult. And watch this throw, triple Sal Cow. Watch how he throws her off this back inside edge up in the air so high. She's so solid and straight in the air and struggles on the landing a little bit, but it was spectacular in the air. So now the marks, the first for technical merit. And they didn't rise to the top of the pudding, it seems to me. Uh, they, they are very good marks, but they're dangerously close to what Petrov and Tikhanov got. And now presentation marks, Dick, Not high and those again. are lower. Five sevens and five eights. That is certainly telling you something there. Not a very, very powerful performance. You look at the judges' placements there, two first place votes, but overall in second, the crowd does not agree, but Petrova and Tikhanov still the leaders. Wow. And up next, the final pair, Jamie Saleh and David Peltier in third place after the short. They won in Japan after winning the Canadian Championships. Hard to believe this is only their first world championship together, and the fact that they've been skating together for less than two years and the fact that they are in contention for a gold medal, not the only surprising thing for Jamie Salé this week. The crowd was kind of going crazy when they said Salé and Pelche from Canada. And it was really surprising because we're in France, first of all, but you just really didn't believe that the French people would be behind us. Um, and I said to Dave on one up, I go, how cool is that? And he goes, oh, I don't know. Like, it almost made him more nervous, but I kind of liked it. It made me feel at home and relaxed and kind of like everybody was behind us. It was really a neat feeling. So we're down to the final pair here at the World Figure Skating Championships. Right now, Petrova and Tikhanov in the lead over Shen and Zhao. And then the French team, Abidol and Bernadice. But here is the surprise team of the season in their first world championship together with a chance to win. Jamie Salé, David Pelletier, the current Canadian champions in third after the short program. But I'll tell you one thing. The way the two pre pre previous pairs have been placed allows them to step through and win this championship. If they stand up, if they gain the impact that they've had on the last championship, they will make it. Opening move is a side-by-side, -side, triple toe. Oh, she didn't, didn't complete that. Remember, this is love story. Number is so well choreographed by Laura. 
Lori Nickel, who choreographs for Michelle Kwan. Throw triple, split triple twist. And now this throw, triple Sal Cow. Oh, very, very nice, very light, very emotional. That's what Lori does so well, is to accent these moves at just the right time in the music. Lori Nichol is a wonderful choreographer. Ah, uh, the unfortunate miss on her part there. Well, she's had trouble on those double axles all season. These circular footwork steps. Now again, these side-by-side -side double axles. Oh, uh, she, she popped it again. It again. a spread eagle into it on that entrance. It's a wonderful emotion to that move. A lot of pressure in your first world championship together. Jamie Sele, David Peltier. She said she couldn't believe her coach when he started talking about actually winning the world championship. She thought he's crazy. Will they hang on at least to stand on the podium? Right now, Sarah Ambibol, Stefan Bernadies watch backstage. Stefan with more security around him than Dick Rutten. What well, brings to the world championships? <laughs> Let let me tell you something. I'm really unhappy for them, but they have had a magnificent year. It has been wonderful to see it happen. Will they stand on the podium? We'll have their marks right after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Again, Nice as Jamie Sallet and David Peltier await their marks to see if they will stand on the podium. And this was the beginning of all the trouble that they had in their program tonight, these side-by-side -side triple toes, and watch um, Jamie having trouble with hers. She did not complete that revolution, did not get up in the air high enough. 
and this was the beautiful throw. Triple sow cow, good height, really nice and straight in the air, strong, smooth landing. Jamie Salay looking at the first set of marks up on the board. Here they are, 5.4 to 5.6. Well, very clear. She made mistakes on all three of their side-by-side -side jumps. She two-footed one and singled two others. Interesting thing, Dick, the crowd was booing. Now the presentation marks, but it's Abby Ball and Bernadise who would benefit from this. Well, I, I, th I don't think the audience was thinking that. I think they were just feeling, they, they liked this pair and they wanted them to do well. They've been a crowd favorite all week long, but it is Stefan Bernadise after being attacked in his hotel room with a razor blade. He comes back with Sarah Abby Ball to capture third place that he just found out. The bronze medalists, they're the first team since 1932 from France to medal at the World Championships. That's been a very interesting finale to a championship that had some brilliant performances in the early parts of the program and had some troubles in this part. Two extremes of the competition. David Peltier injured last year, couldn't compete at Worlds, had third place after the short. They relinquished that to Abbott Bowl and Bernadise. But at the top, once again, it's a Russian pair winning the gold medal. Maria Petrova, Alexei Tikhanov, their first world championship for Xu Wei Shen and Hongbo Zhao. For the second consecutive year, they have to settle for the silver. And Abby Pohl and Bernadise, a wild finish to stand on the podium with a bronze medal. The Americans, Ina and Zimmerman, their second trip to the world championships together. They finished seventh. And Scott and Dulaban, their debut at Worlds, they finish ninth. Right now, let's go over and check in with Leslie Visser. Leslie? Terry, in an unusual twist, it was the worst of times, now the best of times, but congratulations to both of you. First of all, Stefan, how are you? Well, now uh, I'm okay, but my, my arm is uh, hurting a little bit more now after the, all the things I did on the ice, but uh, I'm really uh, very satisfied with uh, everything, and the medal is really not a surprise, but uh, really, uh, um, how can I say? Very exciting. Can yeah. you show us your injury? You just showed before, it's just a little... Yeah, quickly. Yeah, sure. Just here, that's it. Is it very uncomfortable? <clears throat> yeah, it hurts. Oh, <sighs> nasty. Sarah, how did all of this affect you? I was very upset, but uh, I'm very proud of Stefan. It's very exciting. What was your emotion for both of you, Stefan, being the first French pair in 68 years to win a medal at the World Championships? I, I think I'm in a dream, you know. It's... Uh, it's really uh, tremendous. I everybody says congratulations, but I'm in a in the moon, <laughs> like in the moon, you know. But yeah. maybe uh, tomorrow I will uh, yeah, wake well. up and say I have a medal, and it's really great for us. And we we work re really hard. And uh, I was so upset with the, this uh, mm. silly thing that happened to me. So uh, what can I say? It's it's. it's when sport finished like this, it's really good. It's fantastic, and both of you can take tomorrow off. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Back to you, Terry. All right, Leslie, thank you. Even without the injury, a remarkable achievement for a French pairs team, and you wonder how much they actually went through emotionally to get to this point this week. They stand on the podium during the medal ceremony with the Chinese team, Shen and Zhao, and the gold medalist Petrova and Tikhanov of Russia.
There's another gold medal on the line here in Nice, and the fans in this building expect the French team, Anasina and Pejara, to bring down the house. The free dance is next when we come back to the World Figure Skating Championships. Skating with unbridled passion. 